I want to know what it takes. I want to know what it takes. I want to know what it takes to be successful. I want to know what it takes to get a good job. I want to know what it takes to be a doctor. To be a pro baseball player. To paint a masterpiece. I want to know what it takes to be the man in the house. I want to know what it takes to be a leader. To fall in love. To dream. To graduate. I want to know what it takes to live a good life. To live a good life. To live a good life. It takes believing in yourself. It takes courage. Confidence. Respect. It takes creativity. It takes staying in school. It takes dreaming big. It takes you. It takes you. It takes you. It takes you. It takes me. 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 I consider this to be an extremely worthwhile and valuable experience because in essence we're pouring back into the youngsters uh, and especially if I'm hearing it correctly that they're characterized as at risk then I think we have a responsibility uh, to give as much as we can to assist and help these young people realize their dreams. Do you know what you're going to do in terms of your career? Oh really? So Dr. Ackerman is right there so I got a sharp group here then. When you was coming out of high school, like what was your like biggest fear? Was you sure about what you honestly wanted to do? Coming out of high school, I really didn't. Um, I'm not gonna say I didn't have too many fears, but uh, you know, I kind of knew what I wanted to do. Um, my my big thing was going to a college, picking a college. I had a lot of uh, a lot of decisions and a lot of choices to make. Fine tune your vision, and, and a lot of times uh, when you're younger, that's the hardest part to do. Is you don't see people being successful. Um, whether it be in your neighborhoods or in your community, from your school, people in your family. Uh, it's almost hard to see that vision in you, but you gotta really fight that and impress that. And in your mind, picture yourself being whatever it is that you wanna be. And I think, to me, as a teenager, as a young person, that's the hardest thing. And Amy's talking about it earlier, but, you know, are you gonna listen to the person that's trying to steer you down the wrong way? So that's, that just shows you, you know the kind of work that it takes to finally be successful. It's little steps and never giving up, never quitting, always keeping your eyes on, on your goal. You guys are at an age where there are no dumb questions. If you got a question, ask it. And, and that is in any environment, even now. But like if there's something you want to do, you can ask somebody. What did you do? Why did you do that? How did you get there? That if you want people to, to respect you, you gotta respect yourself. And put off a certain image out there, people will treat you a certain way, the way maybe you wanna be treated.